To start this quest, you need to talk to Earspoon at the Charest Caress in Worms Crossing. Name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. You rats with the guild now. Heard nine fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs! Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the Guild Hall. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now, Scram! The chat's officially closed. Your next task is to find the Guild Hall. The entrance is located northeast from the Heapside Strand Waypoint. Once inside the Guild Hall, go to the northern side of the area to find Nine Fingers. Gets people killed. On the half orc's finger, you notice an unusual ring, heavy and with a strange symbol carved on its surface. Scurry away, good book, before I crush you. You recall seeing this symbol on crates marked for Nine Fingers Keen, leader of the guild. The thug works for her. Oi! Stop staring! Start walking! Last chance! No need for violence, friend! Just doing my job. People think they can sneak past me. Fists, adventurers, journalists. Gotta be on me guard. Come, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine Fingers is inside. In you go. Before I change my mind. Better not be cursed. The Circus of the Last Days has returned. See Dryads, Jin, and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act.
thing. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. A little less impressive as revelations go. You'll forgive the spying, I hope. The Guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but... Straight to business, then. <sighs> of all the pains in my ass the Absolute was delivered, one in particular keeps growing. A new gang boss who calls himself the Stone Lord. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands, leave no survivors to pass on a message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the Cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. He's a prick, whoever he prays to. We know where he plans to hit next. A little operation the Guild have run in the city's counting house. Likely my crew has it in hand. Snare set, ready to draw it tight. But I like a little certainty. The dialogue options will vary depending on your previous decisions and actions, and can be somehow confusing. But if you return to the entrance, you can talk to Tut Thistlebog to get some info on the Stone Lord and update the quest objectives. This way you'll find out that you need to go to the Counting House to deal with the Stone Lord. Breathe deep and move. Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power eye, but not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. 
Sei. Não. There is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort. In your final moments! Oh my gods. I'm gonna faint. You! The Absolute has shown me your face, villain. I will beat it into a more pleasing shape! Enough play, Stone Lord. The Absolute has other plans for this one. Oh, Nine Fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Stealing your ally is one thing. Stealing your face, an ignoble act by any estimation. Knees high.
No failure.
on me.
something to ask. Once the fight is over, you can enter the main vault to find the footprints with some sewage water, updating your quest again. So right now, you need to search the sewers for the Stone Lord. You can enter the sewer from numerous entrances and go searching for Minsk, but the most direct route is through the door labeled Keep Out, just south of Lady Janeth's estate. There's a small room with a sliding stone panel which leads down to the sewer taking you directly to Minsk's group. Oh, yeah. I don't fancy the look of those back then. But if we'd only made the effort, if we'd only pushed through. I know, love. But think about it. Attention. If you insist. It might be worth the look. Eager for battle. That's curious. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as I could have. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We zen to him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. And suddenly, another presence looms in your mind. Another tadpole. Some sneak thief lurks nearby. The same one I sensed in the counting house. I can taste your thoughts, coward! Come out, so I may spill them on the ground! Ah, well... Perhaps I only needed to sneeze? And on that note, pleasure. Look for word from the Guildhall.
Close ranks. Another fight. Let's go. Don't waste a step. Aye, aye. position. Knees high. Well, so much for peace. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Get rid of him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. 
you do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. As if in response, Minsk's rage burns colder, burrows deeper, searching for something within you to break itself upon, and finding only Jahira's false face dead here at your feet, and no true Jahira to name you friend. Jahira? You killed her! We can't save everyone. The least we can do is put him out of his misery before we move on. Once again, there are several possible outcomes here depending on your previous decisions and actions. Preferably, the Stone Lord should be alive after the fight. But either way, even if he is dead, you'll have to go back to the Guild Hall to complete the quest by choosing to side with the Zentarum or the Nine Fingers. What's up for discussion? Hmm. Are you by any chance the bad smell that followed me up from the sewer? Whatever you saw, cool your heels a moment. Let's talk. Nine Fingers is done. My Zentarim stand ready to purge this place of everyone loyal to her. So all I need to know is, does that include you? Or not? Then look no further. The Zentarim can protect the city but only with nine fingers out of the way. Her guild is disorganized, undisciplined. The cult broke them in a matter of days, while my Zentarim still stands strong. A guild under our control can do what nine fingers failed to, drive the Absolute out of the city once and for all. We're all on the same side. If there are spoils to be split afterwards, well, I'm sure there's enough to share.
Let's have a look. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. I suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. I'm too nice for my own good, I suppose. But I was in a pit, and you helped pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the Absolute comes. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. <laughs> Which part? The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my crews are fled or in hiding. You've dealt with Orin, but Gortash still clutters my streets with his toy soldiers. When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have no leaders in here willing to open the gates for them. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants, if it's just the watch warrants you're reading. The Guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the Watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the Watch that keeps the peace. Or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. The Watch, the Council, even the Parliament of Peers. They're the clean face they want the world to see. But the Guild is the blood, the bone, the gristle, the ugly bits that actually make Baldur's Gate move. We'll be the ones still holding the gate when all those others have fled. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. You have, but don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolutes at our gate, and the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. 